but it's, look, this is beautiful. What could you ask better to be out here in, the, in nature and uh, on a golf course? For 65-year-old Michael Levin, the golf course is a place to get away from it all. It's where he usually goes to relax and unwind. But it was also on a golf outing that he first suffered severe leg pain and realized something was very wrong. That leg pain would turn out to be a symptom of lung cancer. And I was basically uh, very fortunate to be in what is 10% of the population of lung cancer patients that had an early warning. And the early warning is leg pain. Michael was treated at St. Joseph's Hospital of Atlanta, and he was lucky. Doctors removed the cancer from his lungs. But when it returned two years later, it had metastasized to his brain. They told me that I had what is called brain mets. It's a frightening thing to hear, brain mets. But then the explanation uh, was that my lung cancer uh, did not reoccur, it just, re it just moved to a different place. The brain mets diagnosis is common in many types of cancer patients, and for decades the traditional treatment has been open brain surgery or whole brain radiation, both of which can require significant recovery time, cause long-term cognitive issues, and have debilitating side effects. Good morning, Mr. Levin. Good morning, Dr. Stoyan. But Michael Levin was a candidate for gamma knife stereotactic radiation, a treatment that has dramatically changed options for many brain disorder patients. So he returned to St. Joseph's, the only facility in Georgia with the highly advanced gamma knife perfection machine. There is no incisions, there no, there's no blood loss, there's no uh, uh, recovery time. Uh, it is uh, truly a miracle uh, uh, solution to, uh, to issues such as this. In fact, Gamma Knife is a technology that can eradicate tumors in the brain without opening the skull. It uses a frame to secure and stabilize the patient's head and a helmet called a collimator that resembles a spaghetti strainer. Then, from a radiation source in the machine, beams of very low intensity radiation pass through the 192 holes and hit a precise target in the brain, often smaller than a millimeter or the tip of a pen. Because the individual beams are such low intensity, they pass through healthy brain tissue without damaging or disturbing it. But where the beams converge at the tumor or lesion, the radiation is strong enough to destroy the target. The gamma knife, when we're just treating the lesions or the brain metastasis, we can hopefully give that person a better quality of life and preserve their short-term memory. It's great to hear it from the neurosurgeon, I'm, I'm not going to have to open you up. I feel like this treatment is going to be the best for you. It destroys that target much like surgery would destroy a tumor by taking it out, but this is done without a scalpel, without open surgery. Neurosurgeon Dr. Max Stoyer is part of the team of Gamma Knife experts led by Dr. Nancy Wiggers and Dr. Peter Possert. They literally work side by side with physicists on each patient case to analyze the target and calculate the size and scope of the treatment. The precision of Gamma Knife is unsurpassed. And it's the precision of Gamma Knife technology that offers hope for patients who are not surgery candidates, who have multiple tumors, or whose tumors are in hard to reach places. The accuracy is uh, far less than a millimeter, about 0.3 millimeters of accuracy, which is the f most accurate type of radiation in the world. But it's the ease of treatment and recovery that the patients appreciate. 99.9% .9 of our patients come in for treatment. They arrive at 6 o'clock in the morning, have their treatment, and they're out of there and home by lunch. Um, back to their normal activities the next day, going on about their lives. RN Rebecca Heidcomb guides all the St. Joseph's patients through their treatment. She says the greatest concern for most patients is the titanium frame. And then before you know it, they've had four injections. Their head is completely numbed in less than just a couple of minutes. The frame is on in less than five minutes, and that's it. And suddenly they look at us and say, that's it? If I had known that was all there was to it, I wouldn't have worried. You don't feel it, and that's the first thing. And then the second thing is 
you don't even know that they're done. They're done. And you know, you didn't even know that they finished. You didn't even know that they did it. So you're waiting for them to do it and they tell you you're done. So that's how easy it is. So easy, in fact, that when Michael Levin's tumors returned twice more within one year, he returned for gamma knife treatment and continued to run his family business, something he could not have done with open brain surgery. The most amazing thing about the gamma knife is, is that just as soon as the sedative to calm you wears off, you can do anything you feel like doing. If you'd like to go out for dinner that night, feel free. So for Michael Levin, Gamma Knife technology turned a life-threatening disease into a chronic condition that he can live with. No matter what, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I mean that uh, with all my heart. I do. And that's how I feel.